What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. Just got back in. I think I'm about to go and uh, take a dip in the pool in a minute. Uh, take a load off. I don't even know if I'm going to stream tonight on uh, After Hours. If I don't stream on After Hours tonight, then I'm going to probably stream on After Hours uh, tomorrow afternoon slash morning or something like that and see what's happening. But I was listening to a video. I actually did a reaction to it. And the young lady said, and I quote, if men are not giving you money when you decide that you want to go to the mall or any of this other type of stuff, if men are not giving you money that are looking to get in a relationship with you, then you need to block them. They didn't say don't talk to them. They didn't say any of that stuff. They said you need to block them. Think about that for a moment. They said that you need to block men that do not support your financial lifestyles that you are not even in a relationship with. It, think about this. It went from, this is how bad everything is devolved. From women looking to get married and find love and marry and live happily ever after with kids and a white picket fence and a house to feminism to basic outward prostitution to women then saying that men have to pay 100% of the bills to even have a conversation with them to if a man is not even willing to cash app you or send you money, then he's basically not for you and you need to block him. The society that we live in has devolved so heavily. It's so bad that now people are basically saying that you need to block men. They don't know if the guy's a good guy. They don't know if he's a bad guy. I personally advise my guys not to lead with money. And so with, with you know, not leading with money, what that basically says is, well, now you gotta make sure that no matter how much money you make, you can make a, a half a million dollars a year, you can make a quarter million dollars a year, you can make $75,000 a year, you can make a million dollars a year. I know guys that I coach that make a million dollars a year. That's a fact. One of them literally just wrote a check in order to pay off their student loans for $100,000. One check. And it's funny because they dress so modest and they're young and they're not even 30 years old yet. And the interesting thing about that is that when you start to think about that and you put it in perspective and you start to have the conversation and I tell these guys, listen, Make sure that you don't show no money. It don't matter what kind of car you drive. It does not matter what your financial situation is or anything like that. Do not tell these chicks that you got money. Downplay what you do for a living. Don't worry about how much money, you know what I'm saying, you think it's gonna take in order to support a lifestyle. If she not with you, if she's not willing to build with you, if she does not pass the test, then you need to walk away from these women that do not have your best interest at heart, right? And if you combine that with the mindset that a lot of these women have today, then they're going to miss out on a good thing. They're going to miss out on some of the best blessings and the best men ever. And it's all for what? Because this isn't even so much a conversation that I'm having with my guys. Because if you've been following me for any extended period of time, then you know that never, ever, under any circumstance, lead with money. I, you already know that. Like, that's not a thing. We not telling you anything that you don't already know or whatever. But this is for women. What if you miss your blessings because a guy wants to just have a great conversation with you or get to know you or understand your personality and you've been asking God for a great man. Now, you don't know what a great man is. We can even go so far as to say, what if he's a young guy? Because these are young women, meaning that they must be going for older guys. They have to be going for older guys. It's no way that they not going for older guys because how can you not be going for an older guy when you got to take into consideration that the guys that you seek and got a lot of a lot of money. It's inflation. The cost of living is high. Rent is high. And because you can't build with this guy, that's ultimately going to be one of the greatest things that ever happened in your life. You're going to miss out on your blessing. You literally gonna miss out on your blessing just because you're too haughty and you got the wrong mindset and the wrong spirit. And I don't want my guys to be subjected to women like you because the minute that he go through something, you will leave. Or the minute that you, you know what I'm saying? You don't feel like he paying enough money or you're not selfish enough. Man, y'all are fucking up the game. You fucking it up for yourself. And that's the worst part about it. 
See, what women don't realize is that you're not messing it up for us. You're vetting yourself out of the lead. You getting yourself out of the way from guys that's really already getting it. You're not messing it up for us. You're messing it up for you. Your blessing is already there. The best thing for you is the guy that can then benefit you the most. And you, you're going to be the beneficiary of his greatness. But you'll never get there. You'll never get there if all you can think about is how much he's supposed to pay you to get your hair and your nails. You know how immature that that sounds? You know how childish that is? You know how, how silly you sound talking about a guy is supposed to pay for your lifestyle without him even getting to know you or knowing who you are? Guys is out here sending cash apps and they fumble, fumble in the bag and they're not able to run it up the way that they really supposed to run it up because they spending all of their time trying to impress you. You want the type of guy that's actually trying to impress you because that's not a man. That's not a man that's truly living in his purpose. Eventually, he going to crash out. What most people really don't understand, and this is really for young people, everybody go through stuff. Everybody. I don't know anybody that's ever been successful that didn't suffer at some point in their life. And there's levels to the suffering. I give you that. But every single person go through stuff. Nobody just woke up and they was just ultra successful. And that was just the end of the conversation. Nobody. And so you're not willing to endure with him. So why should he endure through your foolishness and your bullcrap? Because the stuff that you're talking about and whatever it is that you're trying to live like, that's getting old. I was listening to when uh, I did a review on After Hours of a woman that was talking to Ashley Dalton, right? Now, Ashley Dalton is a woman, I guess, that she does some show where she's trying to teach women how to get with highest value men and all of this stuff, right? And the girl, her profile pic was so dusty. But then at the same time, she was trying to convince the audience that she was talking to millionaires and billionaires. <laughs> billionaires. And she was trying to give advice. Now, she not married. She not wifed up and none of that. But she was trying to give advice to women on how you're supposed to operate around these guys because she's trying to get saved. You don't think that most of these guys, unless they some dumb athlete or something like that, that's going to be broke within five years after leaving the league. One of the criteria behind being a high value man is you being able to sustain a level of growth or success for an extended period of time. Right. And so that's the reason why we absolved ourselves from ever using athletes or something like that. that got it real quick. As an example, because we know on average that these guys got a short lifespan in the league, most of them. And then secondly, on top of that, most of them go broke on average within four to five years and file for bankruptcy after they lead a league. So unless you're a Neanderthal, then a guy that's actually got it out the mud, most of them, you don't think that these guys are smart enough and wise enough to realize that you're trying to finesse them because you're trying to get saved. Now, even the guys that really spend money, right? Let's say the guys is tricking. They're not trying to keep you. If you look at most millionaires' wives and stuff like that, they are women that actually pour into them and add value into their life and they phenomenal mothers, most of them. So what makes you think that you'll be able to make the cut with a dude that actually don't see as much value in you as you see in yourself? Don't be delusional. Don't trick yourself out of your blessings. And uh, I think that women need to get themselves together. They need to hold each other, each, hold, hold each other accountable come back to the front of the congregation, realize how trash they are. And I don't think that guys should deal with them until they realize, until the women realize how trash they are, and then they start to correct their behavior. I'm just amazed that y'all even still dealing with these hoes in the first place. Listen, I love you. I appreciate you. I hope you guys are making smart decisions and not crashing out. Strap up. Don't give them no kids. Um, and don't get caught up in that 18-year contract, 18-year plus contract, just because you had a a weakness for this chick that don't see value in you other than whatever, whatever it is that you can contribute into her coffers. She's trying to trick you, bro. She's trying to get saved. And you're going to be the step dummy that do it. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Be careful, bro.